hope that you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here again today where we are going to do one more final paper folding activity. And today's activity is a box. So here's what we'll use. We are going to use paper. I have drawing paper here and I have cut it into a square. Mine is eight inches by eight inches. You might need a ruler, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and some tape. So let's get started. We are going to start this like we've started a lot of these projects. We're going to fold, make a fold going diagonally in one direction. Make sure you crease that well, open that up, make a fold going diagonally in the other direction. So to crease it, you can use your fingernail, you can run your ruler along the edge of it. Now we're going to turn that over and we're going to make a horizontal fold and then a vertical fold. So we'll, oh, well, I'm going vertical first, I guess. So there's the vertical fold. And there is the horizontal fold. So if you open that up and look at it, basically your square piece of paper is separated into eight triangles. So now we are going to turn that over one more time. We're going to squeeze it in so that all the points on the bottom come together and then we're just going to lay that down. And so you've got the upper part which has multiple layers. You have the lower corner which is just the one corner and you're going to put that corner that's just the one all together on the bottom facing you. So now we are going to take this top layer and fold that top point down to the bottom point and we're going to crease it. We are going to reopen it. We're going to fold the top point to the middle crease. We're going to open that back up and then we're going to fold that top point to that crease we just made. And then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So, fold over the top point to the bottom point, crease well, fold over the top point to that middle point, crease well, fold over that top point to that crease you just made. So all those folds I did, Let's redo that one fold. So that's our original fold. We're going to make those folds that I just did in the opposite direction. So while it's still folded, you fold that corner up to the middle and then you fold it to the crease you just made. So fold it over. Now fold that point up to the middle and then open it and fold that point up to that crease you just made. So now we are going to take this left hand part and fold it over and we've got just a flat diamond shape there. Fold this corner over to there and then we're going to fold that left corner over to the right then we're going to fold that right hand layer over, over again, and we're going to do what we just did all over again. So fold that right point to the center point, fold the left point to the center point. So 
So now we have another thing to do. We're gonna take that lower point and we're gonna fold that up to the center. Try to get it straight. Then unfold it, fold it over, and refold along that line. And then you can unfold it. So now we are going to open that all up and Put your hands in the center and just push that down. Then you're going to take this flap that's sticking upward, fold it down, and you can fold it down that way as well. Yeah, try to get a good crease there. Then you're going to do the same thing with the other side. So you're going to fold that that way, fold it on that line there, and put it back up. And there is your box. So if you want, you can take a small piece of tape or you can take a sticker or whatever you want. Bring all four of those points together. Just kind of tape those together. And I'm going to do one more piece of tape. So if you had a nice decorative sticker, you could just stick that in the middle. And there is your box. You can use that to store small paper clips or rubber bands or any other small things that you have. So I hope that you enjoyed our paper folding activities this week and I hope that you'll give at least one of them a try. I will be back next week when we will start off the week probably on Tuesday with what I'm reading in August and it's going to be a different kind of month. I have a readathon in August, so there'll be different picks and I'll pick them in a different way. I have prompts to follow. And then next week we'll also have a create activity probably Thursday-ish. So thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope that you enjoyed all that we did and I hope that you continue to use your curiosity to explore the world and your creativity to improve it. And thank you.